Turn it now. It yeah, just get down a little bit. And, and then build up to the effort first. Gradually press up till you're pressing as hard as you can. Think about keeping the back tight, shoulders out, chest high. But you want to look down just a little bit. That seems to help as far as keeping proper position. And then as you start to press up, gradually build up until you're pressing up into it as hard as you can. Think about putting your heels through the platform. And then once you feel like you're pushing as hard as you can, then hit the left side and just fight it all the way down. Just press into it as hard as you can. Literally try and break the machine. Just keep driving into it. Okay, and now fight it. Keep the back tight. Try and stop it as best you can. Just keep driving into it. Okay, keep pressing. Three more seconds. And there. And just follow it up. Luke, come over here, buddy. Okay, and then gradually build up to a maximum effort and fight on the way down again. Just keep pressing into it as hard as you can. And fight it. Keep fighting. Keep pressing into it. A few more seconds and stop. Now follow it up. You notice after a rep or two, just following it up without even pressing starts to get hard. A little further forward with the hips. So keep your hips forward. You don't want to get too close to the screw. Yeah, right now, just standing back up, the thighs are, are pretty much fried after two reps, which is why three is about the maximum we'll do to set up the speed. Now, gradually press into it harder and harder until you're pushing as hard as you can, and then fight it all the way down. Last rep, so just give it everything you've got. Stay on it, and keep pressing. Keep fighting it. 100% for five more seconds. Four, three, two, ease off. And then step out. Be careful stepping out because your legs are going to be a little shaky after that. Damn. Yeah. Careful. Careful. They're going to be. They're going to be very, very wobbly. I'm going to get the seat in place for the dips. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. It's uh. It's pretty brutal. Okay. And I think I might have bumped this a little bit. Let me recenter it. Just three. How am I doing the, the movement on it? Um. Turn over so you're facing this way and then just press the left handle so right, until it's all the way down. You're going to need the belt, but just you want to move the left handle and, or press on the left handle until it's down, as far down as it'll go. And you want to sit towards the front edge of the seat so that you've got yourself centered over the handle. And just let it all the way down. And you just want to crank that belt down as hard as you can. It's going to it's going to pick you right up out of the seat and actually stretch the belt. The production model is going to have a belt that actually has like a ratchet on it and a heavy pad underneath. Now, what you want to do is get the hands in position so that you're bracing yourself on top of that on the heel of the palm. Begin to press down into it as hard as you can. Just tighten up the chest, tighten up the shoulders and triceps, but leave a little bit of a bend in the elbow, because if the elbows are locked, you're going to press you right up in the shoulders. Keep just a little bit of a bend. Lean down into it a little bit, so you're at a little bit of an angle. And then gradually push down a little harder, a little harder, till you're pressing down as hard as you can. Once you're pressing as hard as you can, then hit the right side and fight it as far as you can go comfortably. If you start feeling like the chest and shoulders are getting a little bit too tight, then let off of it. So just lean into it a little bit. And on the way back down, just follow it? Yeah, just follow it on the way down. Yeah, if you do the hyper reps right now, you're just going to totally kill yourself. It'll be hard to survive right now. Think chest, shoulders, triceps. And just keep driving down into it. Keep switching. Press it down as hard as you can. Try and stop it. Good. And just follow it down. Get the fan turned on here. Let me even move that a little bit. Okay. And then just 
just start pressing into it as hard as you can again. Chest, shoulders, triceps. And when you're pressing as hard as you can, then start it on the way up and just fight it. Follow it back down. Last rep on this. And start pressing out as hard as you can. Again, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Fight it all the way up. Keep pushing it down. Try and stop it. Keep on it. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, good. And then take a couple seconds, get your breath. We're going to go in the reverse direction. We're going to do kind of a low rowing movement. And this is more traps, rear delts, more of the muscles in the upper back. Luke, got to watch so out. Same buddy. movement, pushing it down. Same movement in reverse. So what you want to do, let it down just a little bit. And then hold on to the handle, start pulling up. And again, think about squeezing the shoulder blades together and driving the elbows back. As hard as you try, you can't stop the machine. Yeah, it's, it's literally like using a forklift for many reasons to exercise. Now start to pull up. Think traps, traps, rhomboids, rear delts. You're just pulling up. It's kind of like doing an upright row, except yeah. parallel movement, which is a little bit not, you're not cranking your wrists funny. So, and left hand side in this one. And start by pulling up, gradually build up to a maximal effort pulling up. Think traps and rear delts, and then fight it all the way down. Just keep pulling as hard as you can. 100% traps, think traps. And keep fighting. Like that, keep fighting as hard as you can. And then just follow it back up. Got a belt? Belt needs the pad, that one digs in a little bit. Right about there. Now start to pull up. And again, think traps and rear delts. Focus on the biceps here too. Just keep pulling up as hard as you can. Try and slow it down. Try and stop it. And just keep fighting it. And then follow it up one more time. We're going to go for one more rep. One. Traps, rear delts, biceps. Pull up as hard as you can. Just keep on, keep contracting. 100%. And good. Now have you step out for a second. I'm going to move it up. Well, I have you do the calf raise before the press and the pull down. Not that the cap raise is going to be easy, but it's a little bit of a breather compared to those. Give it a little bit of time for the arms, chest, back, and everything to recover before we get the other exercise. You can actually do the cap raise with this thing in place. Yeah, roughly center the pads and then just get your balls of the feet right over the edge there and follow it up. You want to be for, for the hips a little forward, just want to be clear of the, the screw there. Just follow it up with your calves until you're close to the top, but keep just a little bit of a bend in the knees. And this is a little bit of a shorter one. And then when you're in the top, start to gradually press up a little harder, a little harder, so you're pressing up with the calves as hard as you can, and then follow it on the way down. Be really conservative with the stretch, or fight it on the way down. So keep pressing into it, keep pressing into it, and, okay. 
Okay.